Yo, I am back from my long-awaited hiatus from Hatsune Miku month and I'm glad to be back and today the first video I will be making is a update to a video that I made about two months ago? That's right, in July where I was talking about GKs or garage kits where these garage kit companies were making figures slash statues of uh, very lewd anime men, let's just say. And some anime women here and there, but I didn't very focus on that video about the anime waifu side. I don't think I'm going to do that here either because at the end of the day, there's already a lot of lewd waifus out there already in the market officially by either like Native Rocket Boy or Binding. Yeah, they are OCs, and, but at the same time, like there's already a bunch of official figures like that. Sword Maiden from Goblin Slayer that just came out. Ooh, damn! You know what? I might have to go to church after after seeing this one. There's not that many anime men figures, and if they are anime men figures, they aren't of the, the lewd category, let's just say. But ever since I made that video, it seems like the lewd anime men category has just exploded within the GK community. And there's been a lot, let's just say. Uh, it's almost like a revolution. Like, I think there's just been, like, every week, there's at least, like, five GK companies dropping new figures or uh, quote-unquote figures slash statues, whatever you want to call them, into the market. And today I will be talking about announcements, and I will be talking about the ones that are currently up for pre-order on Favorite GK. I will be using uh, their site. I know there's also We Are Collectibles as well. We Are Collectibles also is in the manufacturing side. I think they have a Nanami in the works they also have a dazai and they are currently they just announced just very recently on their twitter that they're in collaborations with gentleman studio to make a lloyd forger figure so we'll see Let, well we'll see about those before i start i just wanted to say that september we have a lot of pre-orders like official pre-orders that have been pushed over to september i don't know if they're actually gonna come out and i'm kind of i'm kind of hurting <laughs> i'm not gonna lie so uh i would appreciate you gamers if you checked out my own anime store called neko no day i have a link in the description i have an instagram i sell on depop i sell on mercari if you want anything from my Instagram, you can hit me up, or if you have a Depop or a Macari already, then you could just buy anything that sees your fancy on my page. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, yes, I did title this video, Try Not To Get Age Restricted, because I think what's happening on YouTube is just not right. And I think what happened to Corey is fucked up, and I think YouTube has always had a presence of favoritism always there. But, you know, we'll see about this age restriction stuff because I actually under age restricted my original video that I did of GKs initially in July. I age restricted it myself by under age restricted it. So, we'll see. So, if you want to check out that video, you can check it out after I update you about these new figures coming out. Because, like I said earlier, there's a lot. <laughs> there's there's a lot to go through, you know. When I made that video, I think there was like... like Every new like GK that was coming out was getting trending, but now there's so many it ha it hasn't really scratched the surface except for two, and I'll get to those later. But first, we'll go to favorite GK. We'll look at the figures that are on their site up for pre-order. We have a one six scale by Superboy Studio of Hisoka from Hunter x Hunter, and it says out of bath version. He's a 1-6 scale. He's like 188. It's not that bad, like compared to one uh, like other 1-6 scales, unless he's like small. He's not that bad either. I think there's another Hasoka though that came out that I think looks better than this. Some of these like figures look really weird, like this Cloud Strife figure by Whale Song Studios in collaboration with TLC. Like, it seems like it was like a Final Fantasy skin where he's like shirtless, but like he's also like like naked here. It's also 269, by the way. I think that's just because of his sword and, like, the base and whatever. But, like, he's just got his, like, dick out. Just for funsies, you know? It's kind of weird. I don't know. It's not It's not my cup of tea. It's, like, it's got the same type of vibes that, that Marin Kirigawa, like, at the, the street sign. And you can buy her nude. I think there's, like, um, a licorice recoil figure where it's the two of them. It looks like they're going to school. You can buy them both nude. Like, nude body only. I think... 
it's supposed to be intended where like you can like make your own clothes and put it over them i'm assuming the fact that licorice recoil is already getting like official figures as well i don't want to like point fingers but like i feel like licorice recoil is almost like like an industry anime plant like like because like there's no way that licorice recoil like, if Mar and Kiyagawa can only have one figure by Aniplex and several other announcements, meanwhile, Licorice Recoil came out at the same time and already has, like, that many, like, announcements is insane. Hold on, let me just explain myself a little bit better because I listened back to this and I kind of sound dumb and not clear enough. I think Lyrics Recoil, by the way, not Licorice <laughs> Recoil, is a anime plant or like an industry plant how we like to call it in the in the music community where i feel like like this anime is still airing and if you compare the time to like say like this is like an original like no hype no nothing like that compared to say like mar and kiyigawa actually a better comparison would be like komi-san like komi-san was like the most hype as shit like like everybody in the mothers were waiting for komi to come out and the anime came out and then season two came out and then it took such a long time until we actually got a figure and then lyrics recoil comes out and about a month the good smile is just like we got the we got the nendoroids uh already in prototype um the yellow blonde hair girl is already painted and the other girl she's uh in prototype phase and there's several announcements already like that, like, the anime is still airing. Like, Komei-san was the most hypest shit. My Dress Up Darling was the most hypest shit. It took them such a long time compared to Lyrics Recall. I, I'm just saying, like, I don't know if that's also sus or not, but, like, that's that's just me. I hope I made myself more clear because that, like, I heard myself back and I was like, what the fuck? Anyway, I'm back to myself talking about anime dick. Okay, bye. Like, like what the fuck? Uh, tell me if it's good or not, because I haven't watched it yet. There's this Zoro figure. There's a lot of uh, lewd Zoro figures, by the way. By Sunbird Studio, where he's working at a pub. He has bunny ears. He can have his, have his dick out. He kind of has like a... His, his body kind of looks like like super like oily. It's like super shiny. I mean, it's an interesting look, but I mean, maybe. Maybe he was like working at that type of pub. I mean, sure. As a figure, it kind of looks wonky. There's this Rengoku figure by... Da Zhang Fu Studios with LED lights. Ooh, probably from the lanterns. I'm not gonna lie, his face, his face doesn't look that good. And his body doesn't really fit Rengoku. I don't know. I don't think he would have nipple piercings. And it's just, I don't know, this this kind of looks off to me, like in general. Like he doesn't look like Rengoku. Looks like somebody else that happens to have Rengoku's face. He's like a cosplayer almost. There's a 1 6 scale of uh, Kakashi. PDSM Studio. Is that the actual studio name? Oh my god, that is. I didn't even realize that. Okay. He's like at like a statue temple. I, I appreciate the fact that they sprayed water on him. And he has like a bunch of uh, uh, dogs around him. And he's, um, uh, you know what? I don't think I could be like very verbal. I mean, just, I mean, it's on screen. You can look at it himself, you know? It's 327. Probably because of how elaborate the base are, you get two dogs. I'm not I'm not judging you. I mean, I'm the one that's telling you about these figures in the first. There's a 1-6 scale of, fr uh, of a freeing man. The, the swimming anime. The very gay swimming anime by Overdog Studios. It was, uh, it's like about time that we had more lewd freeing studios. I mean, the final arc. Like, I think the movie's literally called Free the Final Stroke, so it's literally like a euphemism. Like, the entire series is literally just gay swimming. So the fact that there's not a lot of figures, I think the most, the last freeing figure that we got was back in like 2016. I'll have to go check on that. There's been a lot of slam dunk figures recently. There's a lot, I mean, I don't know a lot about slam dunk, but there's been a lot of like figures. This one, this one. I haven't seen Hunter x Hunter, but like, when I saw this one by Hyperspace Studios, I was like, eh. Sheesh. He has like his hair down and like his pose, his ass. <laughs> My god, dude. This kinda this kinda fine looking. He kinda he kinda fine. Oh these these mesh pants, these like see-through pants, are aren't really doing a very good job in hiding his dick. Yo, he's like one he's 187 too. Super affordable dude. He he looks really good. Uh, I hope Hyperspace uh, pulls through with this one. It seems that, like, 
what they do is that they have the actual figure and then they put like just like straight up like actual clothes onto them kind of like a nendoroid doll in a sense except for this one this is a 1-4 scale by uh, Detail Studios, the same studio that's bringing you that Jim Gojo that I used in the thumbnail on my previous video. Um, I think this one, again, I think the little like mini, mini uh, ghetto is kind of, it's kind of weird, but I think, I think this ghetto looks really good. Um, if, if anything, I think, uh, no, I think they have like a side by side with like Gojo and like Ghetto. I think I think Gojo still looks better. But that being said, there's a lot of official Ghetto figures that they have his face like pretty well done. So I think overall though, if you want like a figure that you want you wanted a Lou Ghetto figure, I think there's a better option, which I will I think it's out for pre-orders. There's also like not all GKs are like lewd like i just want to preference that this like there's like two anya figures there's this anya figure where she has poochie from chainsaw man it's very cute and there's also another anya figure where she it's like a super elaborate base and anya kind of has that same i don't know why she has that same issue as gojo where they don't know how to get anya's face right like the one by Furyu where she was like the noodle stopper. Oh my god, it looks so ugly. I just want to also bring up that not all male figures also look like that. Like this Chang Studio has an entire line where they're doing all the demons from Demon Slayer. They look really good. I'm surprised that there is a Elude Akaza figure yet. But I mean, on hold bounds, you know. Fucking like who knows like next week there's gonna be one funny enough that video I said that maybe they're gonna be a Lu Tengen figure there's not been one yet that's being said I'm looking at gentlemen studios Yuji and uh, Sakuna equipment room version 1 6 scale and they said that they have one in the prototype phase so I mean who knows who knows I wonder what they're gonna do with it I hope it's just like what I said where it's like in his yukata and like he's like you know, laying down <laughs> god damn i don't know I, I think this one looks pretty weird like the equipment room one it's not like i don't know i feel like the pose is weird the equipment room vibes uh, i don't know i think this is a miss by by gentlemen studios i'm sure it will look really good though we also have another one six scale of sukuna by ghost studios just Ghost Studios? Yeah. And he has like an actual fabric robe and he's sitting on like his like bone thone throne. Yep, I can English. No tattoos. But with- oh, ah. He has- he has that? This Sukuna though looks really good. There's another Sukuna that I think looks better though. I think- I think his base here looks good. Looks- looks better because he's sitting but I think the other one looks better though. I think- I think that's about it. Except for the- figures that the two figures that I was gonna bring up but I'll bring them up last if I can't find them here because I want to talk about a lot of the announcements like there's there's been a lot of announcements it, it's like fucking like you know where it's like you got like wonder hobby and stuff like that like just like every week I feel like they get updated of like what's coming out so there's a twitter account called yaoi figures and their their name on Twitter is just Gentleman Resin. You can follow them and you get updated. But let's see, I will be using them as my resource here. So there's going to be Inrigoku by the President's Secret, where he's at like an onsen. I think this one looks better. His face looks like Rengoku. His body looks like Rengoku. I don't know about his dick. Like I don't know what his official dick size is, but it it's, it looks good. <laughs> you have a lot of Naruto figures. Uh, coming out. There's this Sasuke uh, by Blueface Studio. There's one of like a guy in the shower. I think that's about it. I feel like there I saw one where it was actually Naruto himself, but I mean, I, I could also be tripping. There's this Yuji figure where he's on like a being bag chair by YGNN Studio. Yes, the same YG Studio that is bringing you a Blackpink comeback. We have a Kaneki figure by Giants Company where it seems like it kind of has the same vibes as Inosuke figure by Gentleman studio where he's kind of just sitting he has conveniently a towel on him i have to do a lot of scrolling here god damn there, there's this gilgamesh figure by redstone studio i'm surprised it took this long for us to get 
one that's kind of like this, but I mean, it, I mean, the obvious, like, like, very, like, buff men obviously don't get a lot of attention while there's, like, Spamtron there. The artwork we have, I don't think this one's necessarily, like, I don't think he's gonna have his dick out, but there is this light figure by Evil in collaborations with X. WL Studio. Oh my god, these studios are so hard to say. I think this one looks really good. Like, just like, as like a standalone statue. If he had his dick out, I mean, I wouldn't put it past Light to have a hard on while putting people's names into the Death Note. This Gojo by Overhit Studio, I feel like... I feel like this is like, he, he's like overly ripped, if that makes sense. His hair also doesn't look like Gojo either. Very nitpicky, I know, but there's a lot of Gojo figures out there, so... I think I can be over overly picky if I really wanted to and be justified when uh, I can just ha over this one I can have the one by by Saint Gazuso Studio if I pronounced that wrong my bad GSG I think this one I think this Gojo looks better than that one where he's on like a red plush throne these are the ones that uh, went trending by the way especially the ghetto like the ghetto figure Whew! god damn he's like in actual robes he has a he has a ring around his- <coughs> Oh, these like look really good though. Like, phenomenally good. I think these look better than Freeing's one-fourths. That's saying a lot, because I, I really like Ghetto uh, by Freeing. Not so much uh, Gojo's. Gojo's looks pretty, like, plain. It looks like if Eastream, there you go, made like a one-fourth scale, and that's what they made. It's kind of- it's kind of boring. I'll end it off with this one, because I think this one- this one really like got me like really thinking. This one is Yuji and also Sukuna by Ten Studio. I think Yuji looks just like Yuji, and it wouldn't make sense for Yuji. It kind of has like a skateboarder type of vibes. Sukuna, on the other hand, I mean, I think they did Sukuna really well. I know that they have the same body shape, but like, sheesh. I don't know. I feel like his face really just like screams like like demon that can like. Like, fuck you up. That being said, though, he doesn't have any leg tattoos. I think they kind of forgot about that. I can't show y'all, but he does have uh, tattoos on his you-know-what. So, I mean, I at least they like, got that detail right. Ooh! Ooh! I was just telling my friends I would love to have a St. Louis figure, like, of this dress. But I don't know if they could get the car right. Because, like, a 1-7 scale of, like, that big-ass car is going to be expensive. But, god damn! It's, like, $546. And it doesn't even come with the other one, where it comes. It's like black hair, red dress. Oof, oof. That's a lot. That that's kind of a lot. God damn. Oh, my wallet. I think that's about it for this video. I've looked at enough anime dick for today. If if there's any GK company watching, I I highly. If you ever wanted f uh, free money, I think there's too many safe work battle poses tengens. I'm just saying there. I think we need more t uh, tengen out there. And also, I kind of have this, like, obsession over the, uh, male. The most recent region in Genjin Impact, there's this enemy where he's, like, overly buff. He kind of, he kind of looking fine. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, if you ever wanted free money, I mean, Genjin Impact's right there. You don't even have to pay me. You know, that's an IP that a bunch of people are willing to spend money on. I don't know about Twitter people. But YouTube people, YouTube Genjin players, I mean, I'm just saying. Anyway, I think that's about it, this video. And we'll see if I end up being able to upload this video <laughs> while having a YouTube channel still up. Thank you all for sticking with me for that month. And I will be back to my regular upload schedule of every video for every video. A video every Wednesday at 4 o'clock. I will see you next video, which I don't know what it will be, but I'll figure it out.